Greetings, CBC. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. It's been a whirlwind of an eight weeks, hasn't it? Or maybe for you, just the most boring eight weeks of your life. Either way, that's how long it's been since we've met together. Tomorrow will be nine weeks. Thankfully, nine weeks is where the buck stops. Beginning May 31st, CBC will be gathering in person once again. Now we have two main concerns. One, reassembling, and two, the safety and well-being of our congregation. Thankfully, those two aren't in opposition. Having prayed over and discussed the situation, the elders are confident we can regather safely and responsibly. On the one hand, we need to regather. It's been hard on our faith to be without each other, and this time has certainly taken its toll spiritually. I think now, more than ever, the importance of the body of Christ has been understood. We need each other. The encouragement, the camaraderie, the sense of belonging. So don't underestimate your contribution to the faith of others. You're needed as much as anyone else. CBC is more than a man giving a message, more than a group of elders making decisions. It's you, your family, and your children. Together, we are a body. The hand needs the eye, the eye needs the legs, the legs need, need the lungs, and etc. Without you, we are all disadvantaged, but with you, we are all strengthened. We need to regather because we need one another. But, of course, we'll only regather if we can do it safely. And we are confident with your cooperation, we can. Our plan is not to meet inside, but outside in our parking lot. And with this one measure alone, we are drastically reducing the risk. Our chairs will be spaced out accordingly, there will be less points of contact, and of course we'll observe all the proper social distancing. And for those most at risk, we are taking extra measures. We have spaces reserved for people to attend service, but remain in their vehicles. That way, they can enjoy the blessing of being with us and still protect themselves from the virus. virus. And in addition to whatever measures we've decided to take, will follow all the medical advice from the CDC and other relevant institutions. Now, what I've just said is not extensive. Official and more thorough communication will be sent out later next week in writing. There we'll lay out to the fullest extent our plan and exactly what to expect. In the meantime, we encourage if you have any questions or concerns please feel free to get in contact with myself or any other elder. Be assured that we plan to uh, proceed wisely, sensibly, and with the utmost concern for our people. And remember, the Lord requires of us not sacrifice, but mercy and compassion. And while we certainly want you to be with us, and we wouldn't be gathering if we didn't think we could do it safely. In the end, the decision to attend or not to attend is yours to make. These are unprecedented times, and we all have unique circumstances, so we don't want to bind your conscience on these matters. Whatever you do, all we ask is that you proceed in prayer and wise counsel. So to sum up, beginning May, uh, excuse me, Sunday, May 31st, our exile will be over, and we'll gather once again to sing praises to our Lord, to hear his word, and to encourage one another to love and good deeds. We'll see you soon.